located the bomb. You have dropped it. <laughs>so dudes welcome to operation bionic lady we have the technology to redo skyscraper add a defender with a crowd control intel gathering and wall denying gadget and uh wait let me let me look at my notes um oh we nerfed jaeger and wamai but we also have utility denial capabilities in the hands of aruni Ar aruni aruni is that you arnie aruni with a roni <laughs> it's kind of like a boogie with a hoodie, right? Oh, come on! Aruni with the Thule is one of, if not the most versatile DLC operators we have added to the game, at least on defense. With her robotic arm, she can make rotates without a shotgun. She has a gadget that can do a little bit of everything, and she has some pretty decent guns to back it up. And she can one-shot barricades, hatches, and windows. Hi, they're breaching. That's Carrier, that's Carrier. Five. And while Skyscraper has been reworked, it's still Skyscraper. Oh, you donkey. <laughs> that red bar you saw on my screen was just the detection timer. It's been reduced. I got the re, I got the re. I've got your stairs. Don't worry about your crack wall. Oh, I'm dead anyways. He's on the bridge, left side. Nice. As you can see, Aroni also has access to the Beretta as a sidearm. Her other primary weapon is the Mark 14 EBR. With a 1.5, of course. Wait, I don't think you can shoot with this either. Her gadget is a laser grid that can be deployed on any kind of wall, either reinforced or unreinforced, hatches, doorways, and windows. It can also be picked up and redeployed. When deployed on walls, it'll take up the same amount of space as one reinforced wall. The laser grid zaps out enemy projectiles like Zofia stuns, flash grenades, drones, etc. And it does damage to anybody that steps into it. Burning the wall will put it on a 30 second cooldown. After the cooldown is done, anybody can shoot the laser emitter to reactivate the gate. On doorways, the laser gate doesn't reach all the way down to the floor, so drones can still go through it. But if you happen to jump your drone into the laser grid, it will destroy it and burn the grid. Defenders that go near the laser grid can temporarily disable it to pass through, but this also means you can do some interesting tricks if you deploy it outside the building, like so. All right, are you ready? Yeah. I'm placing it. Down to 15 seconds. I'm actually one of those weirdos that enjoyed Skyscraper in its original form, but I do like this rework so far. Much in tune with previous map reworks, it pretty much comes down to making the map a little bit bigger, making it less claustrophobic. I think out of all map reworks, this one most closely resembles the original one from which it's derived, but I'm not upset about that. I do plan on doing a more comprehensive map comparison at some time in the future, but you can get a general idea of what it looks like just by watching the video because pretty much all the content that I got for this build was on Skyscraper. For me, the reworked version of this map feels very similar to the old one in a good way. Habana also had her ex Kairos launcher modified in a way so that she can pick between two, four, or six fidget spinners at once. This is going to allow her to destroy hatches with four fidget spinners and then keep a bunch of them pocketed so that way she doesn't have to waste them. It makes for a more efficient Habana and I can't wait for it to come out on the live build. Suddenly her smaller 20 round magazine isn't so bad. Nice, nice shot. I'm good at the cams. Nice. Echo gets his deployable shield back and you might freak out from hearing that, but he has lost the cloak on his yokais. You heard me right. I think this is a change that is going to be beneficial for the game ultimately. And wow. Wait, what? Wow. Shotgun? New oven, yeah, new, new oven barbecue. What? Sit down. What? I have no idea what the hell is going on. No way! Guess I don't have to aim anymore. Jokes aside, Shock and I used the scientific method badly to figure out what this weird phenomenon with pump action shotguns was. Our conclusion is that wow, uh. Wow, uh. Mission successful. 
Uh, did they like? Huh? That is. You're shooting me in the arm. Okay, since you shot me in the arm, 100%. I feel like something changed. Because uh, you directed all of that into my arms. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as a two armor. What? From, like, I would not hold that with a shotgun if I was playing smoke. M870. Hey, Brit. Yeah, I guess M870. I don't know. I think yeah. This is this yeah. Is eight seven meters. meters. Okay. Nine. Okay. So you ready? Yeah. Now I'm at eight meters. Go. No yeah, way. That is no eight way. Eight meters away. Jaeger's ADS has also been nerfed to have a cooldown of 10 seconds after intercepting frag grenades, stun grenades, etc. And it won't be able to take out other projectiles until that 10 second cooldown ends. The ADS has an infinite number of charges though, as opposed to just two charges in total. So it can snipe out more splodies over time, but not as many in quick succession. Do you guys think the Jaeger with my changes are going to be enough to, like, dampen the 20-second meta a little bit? I think they will. Plus more explosive capabilities on Ash. Yeah, because she has three of those now. And then, like, if you, if you want to put utility down, like a Nomad or something, she can be self-sufficient because she can carry flashes. Mm -hmm. This seemed to be the general consensus of myself and the other content creators that I was playing with. I think this is exactly what Yubi needed to do dampen Jaeger's defensive presence in terms of utility without sacrificing too much of his fragging power. Yeah, there's definitely bar. Dead bar. Oh my lord. Bar and them ones are crowd outside. Some secondary gadgets have been swapped around. For instance, Valkyrie has access to impact grenades. Zero had his frag grenades taken away and replaced with the new secondary hard breach gadget. And Echo got his deployable shield back. Also, Wamai lost his shield in turn. In a previous meta, Zero's losing of frag grenades would also be considered a pretty big nerf to him, but Wamai only has four Wamai discs, and Jaeger's gadget has also been extensively reworked. Tachanka is Tachanka, of course. I can't wait to see how this guy does on the live build. I think he's repelled. Ooh, that's my frag. I'm gonna get you up. Oh, nice. You got him. Back to what I was saying about the skyscraper rework since I have footage to display. As you can tell, most of the map is relatively unchanged, except for this really big hole in the ceiling that you'll notice. That's a drop down that connects Drum on the south side, adjacent to a reinforceable wall on Tea Room's east side. The main stairs and the black stairs by bathroom have remained relatively untouched and make for good flanking routes. Door. But the geometry of these two bomb sites is relatively the same. Two large rectangular rooms that are separated by a hallway and a bunch of soft walls. In conclusion, meet the new skyscraper. Same as the old skyscraper, but I'm okay with that. But I know that most of you probably freaked out when you saw Aroni's ability displayed during the panel. And that's Siege in a nutshell, right? A new operator gets revealed, we see the gadget, we freak out because it looks overpowered. And then the operator comes out, and then it's like, eh, maybe it wasn't that bad. I have fallen into this trap multiple times. I'm not proud of it, but I'm willing to admit it. So this time, I'm just gonna chill and wait until the test server concludes before I give a take on the balancing of this gadget. Not necessarily because I don't have an opinion, I'd just rather not share it until it's a little bit more developed. In English, I have developed a fear of calling it Ron and looking like a f***ing idiot, which is a good enough excuse for me but probably isn't a good enough excuse for Reddit. That being said, it was kind of difficult to actually interact with the gadget unless you were standing next to it all the time. Imagine having to get castle clips. It's pretty much the same level of monotony. It was a little frustrating. Just shooting the thing to get it to work was enough to get Keeney very excited, and I understand why. Gameplay! Woo! I'm not sure how lit Coconut Bra was in this clip, but activating that laser gate made it impossible for him to push bathroom by vaulting in. He had to peek me from this side of pantry, and that's area denial. That's don't stand in the fire. Stand in the fire and take damage or die. So I'm interested to see how this gadget works on other ranked maps, especially bank, in the future. I'm also interested to see whether or not Blackbeard will be removed from the game forever. When the patch comes out on the test server, I'll be playing it on my Twitch stream. I've been away from my Twitch for a little while, but I'll be coming back pretty regularly, and I'll announce schedules on my Twitter as well as my YouTube community page. So be sure to check out those links in the description below. So see you there, and thanks for watching.
Deuces. Feels Someone, sluggish. There is nobody in sight. All... all right, I guess I'll just take B. Bomb I'm in sight. B. I'm planning B. Wow, there's actually five rumors. Oh, I'm dead. Halfway. Dragon. Flank. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Panic. Panic. There's a lot of penises in the wall. <laughs> it was the terrifying. <laughs> black stare. <laughs> Got the injured black. Let's go, Craig. Nice. You just killed him through penises. I did. <laughs> you just stared at a wall full of them right before the clear. <laughs>